G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. This is one of those types of things that you either love it or you hate it, but it's very simple to make. So join me today as I make my version of creamed corn. Okay, now to start this off, I have a pot on the stove on a medium heat. And to that, I'm going to add in one cup of full cream milk. And then on top of that, I'm going to sprinkle on two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Now, while I have the medium heat, just keep whisking it through until the flour is dissolved into the milk. Now, once our flour is dissolved into the milk, next I'm going to add one cup of heavy cream, followed by two tablespoons of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And simply give it a good whisk through to combine. And next I'm going to add in two tablespoons of butter. And just keep on stirring until the butter is nicely melted. Okay, so once our butter is nicely melted, next I'm going to add in 20 ounces or about 300 grams of frozen corn kernels. And simply give it a good stir to combine. And we're just going to keep on stirring it just for another minute or two. It's going to thicken up nicely and warm up all those kernels. Okay, now that everything's nice and warm, and as you can see, it is now thickened up nicely. So I've just turned the heat off, and the last thing we want to do now is just sprinkle on some grated parmesan cheese. And just simply stir it through until it's completely melted. And once melted into the sauce, it's ready. And there we have it. It is so simple, so easy, and it's so much better than the pre-prepared ones that you get from the shops because they're full of so many preservatives, additives. And in this one, you know exactly what's going into it. And it's best served warm. And as always, when it's homemade, it always tastes simply delish. So if you're used to just warming up the pre-prepared ones at the store, give this a go because I guarantee when you do, you're not going to go back. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favour by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.